best way to word this. It's kind of, it's something that we've never done before. We went out and went door to door, asked our neighbors and people in the neighborhood if they would like their windows washed. And the idea came from YouTube, honestly. Mason was just like watching a YouTube video and saw this guy going door to door, doing the door to door sales thing, asking if people needed their windows washed and he was making a lot of money doing it. So we don't necessarily need extra money. We are very grateful, very fortunate. We both have great jobs, but we really wanted to see how this could go and really challenge ourselves. We're both very entrepreneurial we wanted to try something new. So we bought some equipment on Amazon. We got matching overalls and then just went for it. It actually went really well. The second door we knocked on, we got, and it was actually a pretty big house. It was one story, but there were a lot of windows on it. And there was a couple like higher up windows. And then as we were doing their windows, their next door neighbor came home. I went over just to, you know, see if I could offer to wash their windows too. And then they said yes. It was like overall four hours of work we definitely broke even and made a little bit of a profit too so I think we're definitely gonna try to keep doing this it is getting hotter so I'll probably start doing it in the morning which was really which was really interesting Did a couple houses, made some money. Honestly, it was a great way to spend a Saturday during the day, whenever you don't have anything to do. Just go out, meet your neighbors, wash some windows on a beautiful day. Look at this outfit. We were also able to stop for some coffee and some lunch, of course. The last half of the day, we weren't really able to get anybody. A lot of people just like weren't home. The morning definitely helped push us through. We'll be back next week. I don't know what it is. I think it's a bug bite, but it's like two bug bites. It just like makes me feel like the cutest girl in the world. I'm not insecure about it at all. If I'm being like completely honest, like it doesn't bother me. Mason's like, literally nobody cares. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, I know it's just me. It doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, we are here at Pilates. We had a great day yesterday. It was really interesting to like do something fun. And then hung out by the pool and played some pool with some friends after we got some dinner and everything. And then just kind of had like a chill night. It's bright and early going to Pilates, doing my fun little Pilates thing. I think I want to try to go to the Campbell Farmer's Market. I'm torn because like if I get stuff at the Farmer's Market, that means I have to take it home. But I was planning on going straight to a coffee shop in San Pedro Square. We'll see what I do. Okay, I'm about to run. I'm gonna be late, so I will catch y'all soon. so busy at work so I really didn't record anything today but it was a great day had a great workout had a great day at work and then went home and made some dinner a little something new today and went with some ground beef and corn tacos and they ended up being so good I put a little cheese at the bottom made the ground beef and then broiled them in the oven for a little bit and then topped them off with some avocado and some bell peppers I also made some Mexican rice on the side and that really like pulled the entire meal together. All 
right, hello everybody. It is a Tuesday. We had a great day at work. I am in Palo Alto today, so I'm covering up my like being on my face. I just ordered like pimple patches just to cover it. I'm, t I'm just so tired of looking at it. I can feel people staring at it. I mean, it's like literally impossible not to stare at it. Like, I know people are looking at it. I'm in Palo Alto. There's a Nespresso store out here and there's not too many Nespresso storefronts just in general ever anywhere. And I really wanted to check it out, maybe get some coffee, talk to the people there. I don't really know what to expect. It looks so fun and I love Nespresso. So we're gonna go check it out. This is what I got, Nespresso. Gonna do a little haul. What are these? Okay, so this is an ice tray. Super cute, it's Nespresso brand. It was just something fun that I wanted to get. This is like the ice tray, how fun. Got like little grooves in it. And I'm go what I'm gonna do is I'm going to brew one of the, is this it? Oh my God, it's samples. I was like, I paid $11 for this, what? Okay, no, these are samples, that's exciting. So what I'm gonna do is I got the tropical coconut pods. They're seasonal right now. I'm gonna brew some, a couple of these maybe and make ice cubes out of them. So I think that'll be super fun. And then the other one I got was another iced coffee. This is just like their basic iced Legaro, Legero. I asked the lady how to pronounce it and she didn't know either. She was like, whatever the customer says is like what I say. So I haven't gotten any iced coffees since I've had my machine. I don't know why. I just like never really thought about it. I guess I was feeling the summer. And then they gave me some, a sample of each one of their iced coffees. Yay, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Starbucks has this deal going on right now where if you go and get a cold drink after 12 p.m. I think, I don't know what, when it ends, it's like half off. So, oh my God, I almost got hit by a car. <gasps> I almost just got hit by a car. This is why old people cannot drive. I'm gonna go sit down over here. Okay. Got this drink, it's $2. So after I was done being dramatic, I went home, went grocery shopping, and then made some Emily Mariko inspired salmon bowls for dinner. another pool day had a great workout my legs are they're sore already it was the hardest it was the hardest leg workout i've done in a while but i'm gonna go treat myself and go lay out by the pool and finish up work for a bit here we go
Hello. Mason actually had this great idea to we'll go to Japantown. We're gonna go hang out and visit Japantown. It's been two years. I've not gone and explored around. We're definitely gonna grab some food. This is my fit. I'm wearing skims. This sweater is from Princess Polly. And then I'm wearing Abercrombie jeans. And then I'm gonna put on my Nikes. Glasses are like super cheap from Amazon. And then I got my hair up in like a little clipper, a little clip action. You wanna show them your fit? Yeah. <laughs> I love the sweater. This sweater is like one of my favorite pieces of yours. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go. Japantown. But yeah, we went to this super good restaurant. Like, it felt very authentic and like it was really good. But yeah, so we're just gonna be like hanging out here for the rest of the night. Today's the last day of the of this week's vlog. So thank you for watching. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>